Hey everybody, Ashton here from Without Code. Welcome to another tutorial video. We've just released a new widget for the builder called our Page Preloaders widget. We've got a few examples animated here on the live demo, but do know that these are just animated GIFs to show examples, which is why the sharpness of these is a little less than what the actual widgets will show. Let me give this whole page a refresh so you can actually see the preloader in action. There you go. Essentially, this widget provides you a little motion graphic as seen here to display on screen in any case that your web page needs a little extra time to load. Page preloaders are great for pages with a lot of data and or content to load. Pages like image galleries, pages with big files to load such as video or store pages with a lot of products. In cases like this where you have a very large page to load in the event where there's maybe an empty screen visible for a second or two and there's no progress bar there or status indicator shown, it could perhaps lead the visitor to bounce off the site really quickly. Page preloaders are familiar to site visitors and it implies that something is loading and that it may just be worth the wait. Our widget is very easy to incorporate into the builder and not only offers the preloader, but great control over how it looks and functions. Let's switch over to the builder. Now I am going to mention that it's actually pretty difficult to get a without code site to load slowly. Our builder was designed with page speed in mind and Google page speed tests of without code sites always result in very high scores. However, as I mentioned, if you do have a page that has a particularly large amount of content, the preloader might help with viewer retention. We've got our eyewear theme here and let's click over to our shop tab and we'll click into this sunglasses page. And let's pretend that this page here has a long category of glasses with tons of images and videos to load, and we want to implement a preloader. So here on the page, we can scroll to any place on the page, and then let's click into our widgets panel, and from the basics section, we'll drag out our page preloader widget, and let's drop it right above our glasses gallery here. Placement of this widget doesn't really matter. As you can see, we just get this little placeholder graphic here so we can easily access the widget and its settings panel, but this placeholder itself won't be visible when the site is published. If this is a case where you want the preloader to appear on every page, all you've got to do is drop the widget into the header or footer of the page and you'll be good to go. Now let's jump into the options panel. First option here is to preview the preloader in the editor. This option is super handy. It lets you preview what the preloader looks like in action here in the editor. Let's click this on. And we can see it activated right here in the editor, so you don't need to preview or publish to see the exact animation that will occur. Once you're done customizing the preloader, you'll want to disable this setting though again, just to make sure that overlay disappears. Next, we have preloader style. So scroll through the drop down here to pick from a variety of animations. Again, use that preview in editor toggle option here to give them a quick view. Next up is fade out speed in milliseconds. Now this sets the time that it takes for the preloader and background overlay to completely fade away. The time set here begins once the page actually loads. So basically the time that's entered here is added onto the time it takes to access the page, just FYI. Long fade out speed settings will result in a slight delay of accessing the page. Just for the sake of demo though, I will up this to 2000 just so that we can get a good look at it when we preview. Let's jump over to that design section. Background color, of course here you can select what color you want the overlay to be, and if you click into the color picker, you have the option down here to adjust the opacity as well, so you do have full control over how intense it is. And then we've got some styling options down here as well. Width, of course, allows you to set the size of the preloader, and preloader color allows you to select just that. Let me close out of this now and give this page a publish. And we're doing a publish instead of a preview, just so we can see the full functionality without the placeholder graphic in there. Okay, let's click into the site. We'll click to our shop page for sunglasses. And there we go, we just saw our preloader pop in there and everything's looking and functioning great. There's one more quick tip I wanna throw your way. Let's jump back into the builder. We found in our testing that the page preloaders widget didn't seem to play very nice when you have the quick nav feature enabled on your site. So it's best to disable this feature if you plan to use page preloaders. You can do this by right clicking on your site navigation and going to edit design. And then we're going to expand the All Pages section, and we'll click on More Design Options. And right here, this is the toggle option for a quick nav, and this is what we're going to want to disable. Thanks for watching our Page Preloaders tutorial here at Without Code. We hope you enjoy. If you need any additional assistance, don't hesitate to hit us up and support. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.